Agoraphobia is a debilitating anxiety disorder where you have an intense fear of leaving one's home or going into situations or places where escape or rescue might be difficult. At its worst, it can leave you trapped at home 24-7. And as you can see from this poll I ran, a lot of my viewers are experiencing agoraphobia to some extent. And although it can have other causes, it is most frequently associated with panic disorder, so that's what this video will focus on. However severe your agoraphobia is, the sooner you start reversing it the better. So here are 10 steps to overcoming agoraphobia. Step 1. Get help, not just medication. Agoraphobia is a very serious anxiety disorder, so it's best to get professional help, and I don't mean just getting medication from the doctor. Research shows that a combination of medication plus cognitive behavioural therapy is much more effective than medication alone. In fact, in my experience, I saw that people who just used medication ended up taking higher and higher doses with no long-term improvement to the agoraphobia. Step 2. Accept that it will be a long journey. Recovery from agoraphobia can take a very long time, especially if you've had it a long time. Be prepared for a lot of hard work and even some tears at times. There is no quick and easy solution. But think about the benefits if you can reverse it. Write down the benefits. Write down all the things you would like to do if you didn't have agoraphobia, no matter how big or small they are. Step 3. Understand how panic attacks work. You need to learn everything you can about how panic attacks work. In particular, you need to understand how avoidance and safety behaviours make panic attacks more likely and more severe. And you need to learn what to do, and more importantly, what not to do when you have a panic attack. You can learn all this and more in my 8 video animated series on stopping panic attacks, which I will link at the end. Step 4. Stop it getting worse. If you're already housebound, you may think, how can my agoraphobia get any worse? But it can. I know of people who stop showering because they fear the heat will bring on a panic attack. So look out for any new avoidance behaviours and try to curb them. Remember, avoidance might seem like a solution, but it just makes things worse in the long term. Step 5. Set goals for graded exposure. Make a list of all the situations you will avoid and then rank the level of anxiety you would expect if you didn't avoid them. Start small. Anything that is particularly difficult, break it down. And if necessary, break it down again. So if you can't leave the house, just start by sitting or standing by a closed front door and then do the same with it open. Eventually work up to standing outside your house. Just set around 10 goals. When you reach the 10th, you'll make a new list. Don't make the 10th goal unrealistic or it will just demoralise you. Step 6. Build a support network. You probably already have one. But it's likely that their support currently supports your avoidance behaviours, not your recovery. Explain to them how panic disorder and agoraphobia works. Show them my video series if it helps them to understand. Then tell them that you're going to do graded exposure and ask them to encourage you and check on your progress. It may help to have them come with you at first on difficult tasks, but it's important to be able to do things on your own as you start making progress. Step 7. Start graded exposure. Do the first item on your list. When you've done it once, repeat it again and again. Within a week or two, it will become much easier. And then you can move on to your second task. Step 8. Deal with setbacks. There will be setbacks. Just as you're making progress, there will be a panic attack when you're doing something you thought you could do. But don't give up. Just step back one or two steps in your list and repeat them a few times to get your confidence back. Remember, if you're finding a step hard, break it down into smaller steps and break it down again if necessary. Step 9. Use helpful tools. Tools like the progressive relaxation technique, mindfulness meditation and self-hypnosis can really help bring your anxiety levels down before you start your graded exposure task. When I was counselling I found that hypnosis was particularly helpful for my clients before attempting a graded exposure task. I'm going to make a hypnosis video specifically for agoraphobia so make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it's released, I will link it at the end of this video also. Step 10. Be disciplined and determined. Always focus on the next goal, not the end goal. Keep to the schedule. If the schedule is too hard, revise it if necessary. But try and do something every day, even if it's just repeating what you did the last five days. As long as you're not avoiding altogether, you will be making progress. 
After a few months, look back at your progress you've made and congratulate yourself no matter how small the progress is. This is not easy and can take a very long time, but many people do overcome their agoraphobia or improve it considerably, and you can do it also. And here are some tools to help you. This is the first video in my eight video series that teaches you everything you need to know about panic attacks. And when I release my hypnosis for agoraphobia video, it will appear here. Take care now.